Greetings to you all and season's greetings! My name is Andy and welcome back to Splatoon Splatfist, the European version. I decided to make another foray onto Splatoon after my first attempt, which the critics were calling less than admirable. <laughs> now, I have since discovered that the tri slosher is not commensurate to good gameplay in Splatfist. Although I did get good scores, but I didn't do too well in my games. So I'm going back to the Tentatech Splatter Shot, which I don't know what it is, but I seem to remember using this gun a lot back in my pre-level 20 days, but then I looked at the score and I barely inked 10,000 worth with it. Oh frig! Oh, that was close. So I was kind of wondering, like, why did I stop using this gun? And I remembered that it was probably around that time I unlocked the aerospray as well. <laughs> so, like most people I imagine that don't stick exclusively to rollers, naming no Daves, I probably had a much longer honeymoon period with the aero sprays than I should have. I do like the tent to tech splatter shot, it's quite balanced in terms of, well, compared to a lot of other guns. Your range is decent, damage is decent. Oh! <laughs> Mind the bomb choose. The only thing I don't like. Oh, frig. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was with a splash o matic as well. That's one I've not tried yet. But yeah, the only thing that I would say is bad about the Tentatech Splatter Shot is the Suction Bomb. I've never been fond of them. I can see the appeal, but if there's a difference in damage output, it's not really noticeable to me, and they take a little too long to detonate. They are kind of good though, like, apparently a lot of people don't realise this, that you cannot shoot bombs to destroy them prematurely. <laughs> Uh, I thought it, I thought this was a case just limited to one of my friends, but no, apparently quite a few people think this. And so I guess, you know, you can drop a suction bomb as a sort of distraction if you need to get around a corner, but... No, it's... it's... I don't find it useful in many other cases. Especially Bomb Rush. There's this new thing the kids are doing called backing off, which... <laughs> oh dear. Ah, somebody's up high. I think this is where the, the Tentatex splatter shot... Oh, oh dear! Oh! <laughs> Now I will know the Muffin Man. Or Muffin Woman. Yeah, the Tentatex Splatter Shot, it probably doesn't have the best range for Kelp Dome because it doesn't quite reach the upper platforms unless you're directly under them. But yes, my friends and I ordered in pizzas and... Not so much out of spite, more than just, you know, sticking up for my team, I ordered one with pineapple. <laughs> and it was almost exclusively mine. Not gonna have many opportunities left to use the Inzuka now. Except for, yeah, I can. Whoa, frig! <laughs> oh, nice! He must have just been hiding in like a tiny little puddle. The peekaboo, as Alpha Rad calls it. I do admit, I do quite like his videos, his Smash ones. Ah, oh. <laughs> Quite a lot of Gatlings out today. You know, it's funny, the Zinc Gatling Deco, or whatever it's called, the Zinc Gatling weapon, it came out just hours before Splatfest, but I've not seen anybody use it. Or if I have, I've not really noticed. <laughs> oh, bottom of the team. <laughs> oh well. You know, if I was interviewing somebody and I saw in their CV that they played Splatoon and that they were a pro pineapple defender, that would definitely be a big plus for me. There are a lot of the, there are a lot of accomplishments in games that, even though they do take a lot of skill or a lot of intellectual deduction, they're just not the kinds of things that you'd be proud enough to put on your CV. <laughs> Elam, we're playing with Elam, just plain simple Elam, not Mister Elam. Could you imagine though if this was the first night that you picked up this game and you took it as completely normal that, you know, every day <laughs> the online community has to pick a team to fight against? They'd think we were really running out of ideas if we were now debating over, you know, what's better, pineapples on pizzas or no pineapples. In all honesty, I could take it or leave it. I wouldn't say no to a pizza that has pineapple on it, but it's not my first choice. That doesn't mean it's bad though. One of my friends claimed that in the recent weapons update for Splatoon, they, the Enzaps were given a spread feature that they never had before, which I thought would have been good because, you know, it allows them to compete a bit more with the Squelchers, but I'm starting to wonder if the Tentatech Splattershot had the same, because 
I don't remember it having this sort of spread as well. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I I always remembered like one of the reasons why I liked the Splattershot Jr. is because it had a lot of spread, and it's the reason why I liked the Tri Slosher as well, because especially during Splatfest, I've always felt that my aim was kind of crappy. And that really doesn't help if you're over oh, for, 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 stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back! You shall not pass! Whoa -ho -ho! <laughs> yeah. What was I saying? Yeah. I always thought that my aim was too bad, or too unsatisfactory, to be able to use the Inzuka effectively. You know, a lot of time if you just a lot of the time if you just fire blindly in towards the enemies, then you will certainly hit someone. I'm pretty sure it is possible to get up to the enemy base, just it requires using these platforms. <laughs> it's a bit like in games like Halo or Call of Duty. I never expect to run out of ammo because I die too much. <laughs> so it's almost weird in Splatoon when that happens. Especially since I use the bubbler, which recharges a lot quicker than most. If I'm using... Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> the zigzag feature got me again. For instance, if you're using the Squelcher, then the Echo Locator builds up quickly enough that you can use that and that replenishes your ink gauge. It's kind of weird not having the Echo Locator now. I've been using the... I've been using the custom Dual Squelcher a lot and... Yeah, it feels weird not having the Echo Locator. Wolfrig. It feels weird not having the Echo Locator now. I feel vulnerable. <laughs> Even more so that there's a Kraken coming at me! <laughs> I wonder what happened there, that the, my shots didn't seem to deter the Kraken too much. Hmm. I'm guessing it's one of these things that it's dependent more on fire rate than damage output. Although I've seen Sloshers hold back the Kraken. Actually, I wonder what would happen if, you know, you shot a Charger head- if you shot a Kraken head on with the Charger. In fact, I'm gonna want to try this now. Maybe we'll do some kind of Beth Busters spin-off for Splatoon. Oh, who am I kidding? That's probably already been done. In fact, it was probably done, like, less than 24 hours after the game came out. One last suction bomb! Oh, for the record, on the gamepad I saw a burst. <laughs> it didn't even matter. You know, I remember saying in one of my older videos that levels in Splatoon is not necessarily an indication of how good you are, but... It seems, it seems kind of weird, I've spotted a pattern where if you're level 45 and lower, that definitely seems to be true, but once you pass level 45, you know, 46 up to 50, you seem to kind of hit this transcendent threshold where you can very safely assume that, you're <laughs> that your teammates are good at the game. I don't know. I don't think the level progression changes much when you reach those higher levels, it just takes longer. I mean, people have noted that I've barely leveled up in the previous few Splatfests. And in reality, I don't play Splatoon much outside of the Splatfests now. I think I may change that more as more updates and weapons and if possible, if it happens, new maps come out. But you know, I should probably should do more non-Splatfest online gameplay. In fact, if anybody is interested in that, then do let me know. Arowana Mall! I can't remember the last time I had this in a Splatfest, this level. This level is unfortunately a bit like Moray Towers, where, you know, if you're playing against a team that has a lot of chargers, then it does tend to be quite a one sided match. <laughs> you know, take up their positions! You know, if everybody was quite evenly matched, it almost would be like a very rock, paper, scissors approach, you know? Yeah, you can say that you have, you know, Charger beats, whoops, Charger beats Splattershot, but Charger, rule for, that was dumb. What? <laughs> I don't know if the enemy sees those nices, but that was a sarcastic nice. Well, semi-sarcastic. What's the word for that? Anyway, yeah. Oh, yikes. Wait a minute, is he just... Hold on a sec. There you are! <laughs> you don't do that. When do people realize that just doesn't work? 
You, there are splashes on the wall. Now that, no bravado like that works. But hiding in the wall does not. <laughs> oh, I was so close to getting Inzuka as well. Is this guy moving? Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I even know a lot of people that, you know, they use, they use weapons that have the squid beacon as their sub, but they never use it. It's almost like a lot of... It, it takes me by surprise nowadays when I see an Aerospray user that actually uses the ink mines, because... Yeah, it just almost never happens. And I think I proved in the Splatfest where I was using the ink brush that had the ink mine that it actually can and does pay off. <laughs> okay, who can I fire blindly at and kill with this? Oh frig. Yes! Yes! Down in front, Charger! Oop. <laughs> You know, it's funny, sprinklers, like, for how low their damage output is, they are remarkably effective at deterring enemies. Yep. So I'm just doing a bit of cleanup here. See, I don't mind, like, if I know that somebody's trying to super jump to me, sometimes I will back off just a little bit so that I can guarantee them a safe landing. I'm nice like that. <laughs> this is turning into a bit of a bottleneck. Whoa! <laughs> There's somebody up on the side. Come on, drop off the edge. Whoa, where'd he go? Is that him? That might be another one. Wolfric! Bomb rush! <laughs> the least threatening bomb rush! Oh, he got me. I think this one's theirs. <laughs> No, the anti-pineapple militia have won. <laughs> I almost lost my words there. I do find it quite amusing though that it takes a whole nother you know, costume purchase in order to get sunglasses that sit above your eyes rather than on them. <laughs> but that, that is one of the, the good things about Splatoon, you know, it, the way I see it they could have went as in-depth with character customization as you could in the likes of an Elder Scrolls game or Mass Effect, but they didn't. They kept it nice and simple. Nice, simple, and streamlined. And we're back! <laughs> Can I redeem myself? Okay, I'm at the front here, which means I decide where I go. <laughs> now, I do try I do try not to, you know... With most maps, there are enough ways that you can go that, you know, everybody gets a fair share of turf that they can ink initially. And I think, you know, especially for Splatfest, it's quite important that everybody gets a chance to activate their specials as soon as. Some take a little longer than others, though, because you've got the likes of the Kraken, which... I think that takes 220 points? I think the... Oh, oh dear. Yeah, Echo Locator only takes 200, so um, Inkzuka takes 220, which is why I'm just kind of... Come on, filling in the gaps here, guys. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Exactly 220 points. Alright, let's see if I can, you know, pave the way for my friends here. Oh, I got someone. Nice. I got Bloody Menu. And yes, we all know what you mean there. Oh, darn it. Whoa. <laughs> ah, Disruptor! <laughs> I think I've only ever been hit with a Disruptor maybe twice, that being the third time. <laughs> it's... You know, again, it may be like the Squid Beacon where people just don't use it as much as they, they ought to. And it is good, you know, I've used it with the Trislosher to great effectiveness. I suppose it's only really good if you've got a very fast weapon to respond with it. <laughs> you know, I can appreciate that people might use the ink strikes for, you know, covering turf, but it seems to me mainly better for offensive purposes. It's... You know, it's not good for inking turf, especially so deep into the enemy camp, because they will just clean it up right after. <laughs> I feel vulnerable here. Oh, yikes! <laughs> 
I get the feeling I'm being watched. <laughs> I better check. I don't think I have a perk that makes my bombs get thrown further. Oh yikes, sloshers. I just don't do well against sloshers. <laughs> If I was more confident in my aiming, then I would use the slosher, like the standard slosher, a lot more. The sloshing machine, though, I just... I don't see the benefits to it. You know, at least with the slosher, you've got that spread. You've got... You know, they don't need to be directly in your target to hit them. If it was a bit like the blaster weapons, like the Luna Blaster, where... You know, it, if you hit them precisely with one or two hits, then you'll get them, but... In fact, it probably is like that. We're really sort of blurring the lines between weapons now, aren't we? <laughs> ah! Slosher high up! Get him, get him, get him! Whoa! <laughs> is, is that Charger guy just standing there? I probably freaked him out just by landing right in front of him too, and <laughs> just none of us noticed. Okay, did I at least do okay in this one? I did! Hooray! <laughs> Pro Pineapple Champion! Woo! You know, I think I may actually level up during this Splatfest. And, I, and I'm willing to bet that if I look back at my other videos, I probably said that during the others too. <laughs> One of my friends is insistent that I do an episode any sort of episode on my channel pretending to be Jacksepticeye. I've only watched two, three of his videos, and yeah, his voice is great. <laughs> I mean, like most people, I think I like the, the Irish accent, just, you know, or various Irish accents just on how they sound, but Jacksepticeye just sounds so happy all the time. <laughs> I don't know. I might save it for next Halloween. Whoop. Right, what are you lot doing up there? <laughs> I'm just backing off a little bit. I want to get my Ink Zuka. I want to get my insurance policy. Alright, here we go. Oh. I could have sworn I saw a sloshing machine on the other team. Hmm. Is there somebody over there? Whoop. Oh, there is. Okay. People say I'm too cautious in this game. Well, let me see if I can... <laughs> okay, that wasn't my kill, but I feel I helped in some way. Oh, frick. <laughs> I was going to say, thank goodness there's no kind of close-range insta-kill weapon, but there is. It's called the roller. I'm half humoring that, you know, somebody on the enemy team will notice on the minimap that they're, you know, this little pathway of theirs is being inked. Because that's what I do, you know, I check the... Is he still there? Oh, there he is. See, I, I, I don't mind super jumping, in fact, I find myself using it a lot more now just to get around the map. <laughs> You know, especially if an enemy gets past, you know, onto your side of the map, it's... Especially because you can super jump back to the spawn point, it is quite handy in just... You know, recovering lost ground. Go for it. <laughs> Such recoil on this! Ah, that was a bit of a misfire, wasn't it? Whoa! <laughs> okay, at least one of my guys got him. Whoa, that guy got too close. <laughs> that was just like an afterthought, just, oh, enemy. Oh, darn it. Oh dear, this is not good. I think even a, you know, real last minute push won't help us here. But I can try. Oh, I better go. Ugh. I don't think that helped. 
<laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> you know, even in the last, like, 15 seconds of a game, it just takes one roller or one arrow sprayer to sneak past onto your side and you can steal the game away. That's what I like about this. You know, people have asked me, why are the games... Why are the matches only three minutes long? And I think, you know... In reality, that's that's all you need. <laughs> A defense perk. Well, I've already got three of them. You know, I'm kind of surprised that people are still wondering about this. Yes, it is true that you can stack extra upgrades. You know, you can see there, you know, just through the Splatfest shirt, my boots, and now my glasses, I've got four defense perks, but that doesn't mean I'm going to survive much longer than most. If you've got one, maybe two, then it's noticeable, but... Four doesn't help. As Judd has as Judd mentions, if you actually speak to him, he says that you know you can have multiple upgrades, but their effectiveness is lessened the more that you put on. So if you're one so these people that have like three of the same upgrade on one shark, it's like Okay, under very specific circumstances, like maybe you could Maybe you could slightly outrun an ink strike or you know get one more burst bomb out, but you know does it actually have a benefit to it? <laughs> I don't think so. Or if it does, it's not noticeable. Whoa frig. It looked like he shot me through the wall. <laughs> yeah. Again, one of my friends who goes under the alias Buttercup was saying that she read somewhere that apparently Japanese players get some kind of priority when it comes to, you know, the hit system in this, but I don't think that's true. Any time that I've been shot through a wall, I've just attributed it to lag. It's, you know, it happens. Law of averages, if you get killed in an unfair way, then there's going to be plenty of your kills that are going to be treated exactly the same way. You know, I think a lot of rage quitters need to realize that, that you're... <laughs> the problems that you experience are not just being experienced by you. Wolfric! <laughs> See, this is a... Thank you. Thank you, buddy. See, this is a bit of a drawback to the Inzuka, is that it doesn't... Oh, whoa. Okay, that was a good shot. If he meant that. <laughs> Does anybody have an ink strike? We could really do with getting rid of that guy. Because you're just in the sort of place where even the Kraken couldn't reach you either. Oh, speaking of... Oh, he's moved. He's moved. I need screws here. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes if you've got a really evenly matched team in terms of skill, then it does boil down to rock, paper, scissors. Where's this guy going? Whoa! It's okay, he'll be distracted. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I should have got him sooner. So this was the thing, I noticed I was doing alright without the control lag and thought I would give it another shot, and I could have not picked a worse place to... <laughs> the hides in there. Um, oh, wait. I think I may have hit the wrong super jump button. Fridge! <laughs> Damn. You know, they had a pretty good sniper on their team. <laughs> that one shot, I probably wasn't visible to him for like two seconds at most and he got me. That was pretty good. Uh oh, that that took a it took a little too long for that to load there. I'm thinking that oh, oh come on. You know I'm starting to wonder if the opening lag does have any effect on you know the match as a whole because 
if the game starts off as normal, then there's usually a jellyfish walking past you at the start, but not that time. Or at least I didn't notice him. Which makes me think that, you know, all the, the moving parts of the level, like the displays here, they would have already started moving. So if you were to record this as a replay based on, you know, movements of the Inklings rather than, you know, an actual video, then... Where is that guy? Aha! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> then it would not be possible. Maybe that's why they don't do replays in Splatoon. Actually, if Splatoon 2 comes out, then it wouldn't surprise me if they put that in. <laughs> I say if. If Nintendo are already thinking about releasing a new console, Splatoon's been one of their best new LPs. LPs? IPs. <laughs> one of their best new franchises. They will definitely make a sequel. You know, I'm even starting to wonder, you know, there's some weapons that you can only unlock in single player, like... You know, I believe the Dynamo Roller's one of them, or at least one of the Dynamo Rollers is. I was just thinking, like... I'm wondering if people testing the game just deliberately avoided single player <laughs> and went for multiplayer. And that was, you know, being able to unlock weapons in single player, that was the kind of... the hint to, <laughs> to play single player a bit more. See, a good score in Splatoon depends on, you know, offences and counter-attacks, but... So the irony is that if you're playing against a team that has a disconnect, then you're probably not going to get a good score, because they simply don't have the opportunities to recover their turf. Oh, I got him! Wow, that, that must have just, like, cut the... Cut the very bottom of the Inzuka Cyclone there. Yeah, I thought it, as well they might have introduced like melee attacks to this, but that's pretty much what the rollers are. <laughs> the flacking paint is an afterthought. Whoa, yikes! Oh, I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> I thought I'd been splatted. <laughs> It's just standing there shooting an empty gun. <laughs> oh, that was that was dumb. Do you know what else was dumb? In my previous video when I was trying to ink that wall looking up and not paying attention to the rollers on the other team. Just that half second of confusion when this roller just barrels in beside me. You think I could manage one more? If I win one more, I'll level up. I mean, there's absolutely nothing to be gained from reaching level 33, but... You know, I think it's about time I actually did level up. <laughs> you know, it was weird having to explain to people why there's no red ink, why there's no brown ink, and why, you know, America and Europe couldn't be trusted with white ink. It's bad enough that plenty of crude Miiverse posts actually get past, you know, whoever actually monitors this stuff. Is there so, do, Does Nintendo actually have staff members that monitor Miiverse posts, or is it just entirely dependent on the community? I'm starting to wonder, because one of the things I've discovered with Super Mario Maker is that whoever rates levels is bad at it. <laughs> Like, some levels are genuinely hard, and they're rated as expert levels, which is fair enough, but... I've seen some levels that consist of nothing but a single Koopa Troopa, and yet they're rated as normal. And so I have to wonder, is it a machine rating these things, or is it an actual human being? Is there somebody down there? I'm pretty sure he was... Oh, hiding in a corner. Maybe he's still there. Oh, speak of the devil! Okay, that almost certainly wasn't the same guy. I'm pretty sure it was the guy that had the... You know, the power armor helmet one. You know, it's a real shame, you know, with Halloween and Christmas, they couldn't do 
festive hats, for instance. And don't give me any silly reason like, oh, they would have been too afraid about, you know, excluding the people of certain religions. You know, just a Santa hat would have been fine. I mean, it's not like if... Whoa. I mean, it's not like if at Easter they're going to offer us a crown of rose thorns as a hat. I mean, come on, just give us a Santa hat. Or at Halloween they should have given us a pumpkin. Uh oh, Kraken! Yeah. Whoa, is that the... I did not see that. <laughs> I don't think the Kraken touched me there. Yeah, that was probably just lag. OMG lag, you're so bad! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> really looked like my guy just exploded there. Uh, yeah, I'm going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Who's there? <laughs> you almost expect somebody to be there because that's exactly what I would be doing. <laughs> oh, yikes. Has somebody turned my sensitivity down? I'm gonna have to check. It feels low. I'm complaining, this has probably been really helpful to me. <laughs> also, as for the, you know, last ditch effort part, this is the first time I've properly used it extensively and I don't notice any- whoa! <laughs> I haven't noticed anything that great about it. Why do most of my games end up with me just wading through the enemy ink? Five to one. I'll take it. Okay, I think it very unlikely that I'm going to reach Pro Pineapple King, but I reached level 33. Uh, there is no benefit whatsoever <laughs> to that happening. Now people are going to have slightly higher expectations of me, and I don't want that. So, yeah, I'm going to leave things off here. I might jump back on in Sunday morning. We'll find out. Until then though, my name is Andy, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>